In this video, we're going to take a look at applying texture to our picture. Right, let's make a start. Let's go over to the Layers panel. This is the layer I want to apply the texture to. It is my paint layer. If I just switch it off, you can see there's a painterly effect I've applied to the image using Topaz Impression. So before I apply texture to this, what I like to do is duplicate this layer. So I'm going to use Command J or Control J. That's Command J or Control J. There it is. It is now called Paint Copy. Bring your cursor over the text. You can double click. Now it's highlighted. I'm going to call this what it's going to become, which is texture. Pressing enter or return will apply it. Next, let's go to filter, texture, texturizer, which is going to open up the filter gallery on texture, texturizer. And there it is. We've arrived right with texture. We have got brick, burlap, canvas and sandstone, but I'll come back to these for the moment. I'm going to leave it on brick. And if we go down to the bottom corner, this is the important thing here. We are looking at this picture at 28.6%. Now, if you click on the minus, we're going to zoom out to 25%. If you click on the plus symbol, you go to 33% and you can zoom in on the image there. If you click down, you have got a fly out menu showing you various zoom ratios all the way from 6% up to 1,600%. My favorite method has got to be bring your cursor out, right click. There's exactly the same fly out menu and always go to 100% or actual pixels. So those are the two you want to use. Of course, actual pixels is 100% and in you pop right over to scaling. Let's take a look at scaling. As we move this across, we get bigger bricks. If we move it to the left, we get another brick in the wall, right? Let's move it into this sort of area here. You've also got the relief, move it this way. You got sharper bricks, move it this way. You got fainter bricks. So just move this back and forth till you get the sort of effect that you're after. But for now, I'm going to move it back into that area. You've also got lighting top left. You have got bottom, you've got bottom left. Oh, with these, by the way, if you change it to invert, you can see the way you can change the look of the bricks by doing that. I'm going to leave invert unchecked. You've got bottom left. So just go through them. Some of them can look a little bit uh, strange, but could work. I'm going to go for top left for the moment. Right. That is using brick. You have also got burlap. Must be honest. I've never used this one. Right. You have also got canvas. You have also got sandstone, which happens to be my favorite. But for now, let's go back to canvas. Now with this, you may notice these little dots here. Now what you can do is take the scaling up. As you take the scaling up, you notice the dots are beginning to get a little bit, uh, I wouldn't say fainter, but there's getting fewer of them. I'm going to drop it back into that area. There looks pretty good. We're in at, uh, yeah, 122% for the scaling. Now the relief with the relief, take it up and you get much sharper canvas. I'm going to move this to this area here, dropping it down to two. And if we just move it around now, I'm not going to fully adjust it. I'm going to leave it like this. Now I like the way this is looking. That looks pretty good like that. We're now going to click on OK. And you're thinking you said that looks pretty good like that. That looks no, don't delete it. Don't do anything else. Just leave it for the moment. Take a look down here. We are looking at this at 27.87% of the image. In other words, that's the zoom ratio. If you use command or control, so press and hold down command or control. Now press plus. We zoom into 33.3% looking a little bit better. If you press command or control again, now press plus one more time. We go to 50%. Hey, presto, that's looking a whole lot better. Let's go one more time. Command or control plus. No, that's looking awful. We're in at 66.67%. One more time with command or control plus 100%. That is looking much better. Looking just the same as it did when we were in the filter gallery of texturizer. Now I'm going to bring it down to this area here. I deliberately chose this picture because we've got plain areas of sky. We've also got detail area here and over to the layers panel. I'm going to come to the opacity slider and I'm going to reduce the opacity of my texture layer down. I'm going to take it right the way down. We're already down to what we're down to 48%. I tend to look at the picture, not at the, uh, the opacity. I'm going to take it to 
that sort of area there. You can see texture around here, around in that area there. You can't see the texture there. Texture all around here. They're looking good. Switching it off and on, you can see where the texture, and I like the texture just to be there. It's in the background. I don't want the texture to be too dominant with the picture. So that looks pretty good like that. Looking at it in the sky as well. Great stuff. That will do nicely. I'm going to use Command-0, zero, Control-0 zero to go up to fit on screen. OK, that doesn't work, does it, when we're at 27.87%. So let's go to 50%. So I'm going to use Command+, plus, Control+, plus once, twice. That looks better like that. I tend to save it like this, so save it in layers. So I've still got that texture layer showing there, so you know what it is. Look at it then, look at it with fresh eyes a couple of days later, make sure that everything looks okay. Once you're happy, you can then use Command E or Control E, or of course it is layer and merge down. There it is, Command E or Control E. That will then merge it down and there it is. There is your texture layer. Oh, one very quick and easy shortcut. If you use Command or Control, so press down and hold down Command or Control. Now press the number one, you go directly to 100% very useful when you're applying texture so there it is another useful little shortcut there looking around the picture happy with that gonna leave it like that for now i hope you've enjoyed the video please like and subscribe that way you'll receive all the new videos as they become available but until the next time it is happy imaging and take care